<laughs> hello, hello. No, not yet. Just waiting. Hi. Hello, everybody. Sorry, a few technical problems, but we'd like to say hello. Welcome to the second Facebook Live on Pashley. Luna's here with me, and we're just waiting for some people to join in. So let's see. Let's see. Can you see them, Luna? Can you see them? Can you see them? Look, have a look. Can you see them? Are they on there? Are they on there? Oh, I can see Luca. Luca's watching. Well done. Don't forget, type in your name, type in your class. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know who you are, and I'll give you some shout outs today. Okay, we'll just wait for a few more. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Izzy. Lovely to see you. An ex Pashley pupil. It doesn't have to be Pashley children here watching us. So keep watching. Hi, Rupert. Hey, Freddie S. Yes, well done. Lovely to see your photos. Yes, Miss, Mrs. Lewis, we're live. We got there in the end. As usual, Mrs. Thomas was a few minutes late. It's like every other meeting we have at school. So, hi, Jessica. Hiya. Keep coming. Keep telling me who you are, and I'll give you some shout outs as we go. Hi, Luke. There we go. So, you just got to meet Luna very briefly. She may come back again later if you're all watching and saying hello. Um, she is a sprocker, which is a springer and a cocker. Now, we saw Mrs. Lewis's dog, Eric, um, this week, and she has a cocker. We have a cocker and a sprocker, a springer and a cocker, a sp sprocker. Oh, it's all so confusing. And I know from yesterday's comments that Blake from Foxes, you have a sprocker as well. And I also know Olivia L from Rabbits has a sprocker. So let me know what dogs you've got at home as well. So just seeing who else have we got coming in. Oscar B and Moles, hi. Keep your comments coming. Let me know who is watching and I will give you a shout out as much as I can. Right, apologies to everybody who was waiting, but we got there in the end. So we have some birthdays. We have a birthday today. So first of all, I'd just like to say a very big Pashley birthday to India in Robin's class. She's seven today. Let's do seven claps. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one for luck, eight. So happy birthday, India. I hope you're having a special day. Tomorrow, uh, we have Masha in Squirrels. She will be turning five. So happy birthday for you tomorrow, Masha. Let's give her five claps. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Happy birthday, Masha. And then on Sunday, we have Mila. Mila on Sunday, she's in Woodpecker's class and she's going to be seven on Sunday. So let's give her seven claps. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for luck eight fantastic have great birthdays even though they're a little bit different let's just say fred and flo happy birth uh, not happy birthday hello to you in the garden i've got gracie gamble kit hi kit thomas and foxes hi ah oh, austin and fletcher hi great photos loved your videos of you doing your assault course around the garden Charlie and Owls, hi Charlie, and Isla and Foxes, fantastic, keep them coming. So, who else have we got? Come on, keep, let me know. Oscar in Badger's class, hi Oscar, my computer, and Lexi and Robbins, hi Lexi, and Miss Papania, hi. Well, maybe I'll do some dance later, Miss Papania, you'll never know. Uh, Luna in Squirrels, hi Luna, hope you had a good birthday this week. Hi Alba. Hi, Alba and Rabbits, and Charlie and Seth. Hi. Keep them coming. Right. Okay. So I have chosen to do planting today. Now, one of the reasons is some of us as teachers got ourselves organized on the last week and we got some planting for our allotments done. So some of you had a go at planting. Some of us didn't get organized, but some of us did. And the plants are currently in the Pashley Hall 
They're in there. They're being looked after by all the TAs who are going into work still. So let's give them a big wave. Say hi. Hi, TAs. They're doing a grand job in there and they're going in every day to check on your plants. Now, I know that some of you might already have planted yours. Some of you may be a little bit like me. And I thought, I'll do planting. Hmm. No pots, no compost, no seeds. Hmm. But luckily, being a passionate person, we upcycle, recycle, downcycle everything. So I rummaged in my rummaged in my recycling pot and I've got an old squash cup container that I've cut down. I've dug up my garden this morning and got some soil just for you so that we can do some planting. So if you've got your magic beans, if you've got anything that you were sent home with, you can do some planting with me today because today's whole school challenge is all going to be about planting and growing and watching them grow over the next couple of weeks. Hi, Tamsin. Hi, Fletcher and Ava. Hi. Hi, Elijah's dad. <laughs> so you can either join in with me or you can watch. And then this afternoon, you can go off and do your own planting. Now, I have got some seeds. I didn't have any seeds. But actually being a really great team, I phoned Mrs. Burton and said, I'm going to do planting. And I've just realised I've no seeds at all. Hi, Hermione. Hi, Phoebe. I've got no seeds at all. So she drops them around on my doorstep and she dropped me in some sunflower seeds. I'm just going to show you the sunflower seeds that I've got. Can you see those? Yep. Yeah. So these are sunflower seeds and some of you may have planted these this week. Some of you may have planted pumpkin or beans or sweet corn. But I'm going to ask you a bit of a challenge. Do you think these seeds are alive or dead? Have a look at them. Are they alive? Are they living or are they dead? So hmm, now if you're in rabbits class, you should know because we discussed it in class this last week. Are they living or are they dead? Now I have to say, they do look like they're dead, don't they? They just look like they're there. And if you recognize these, some of you may eat them. Sunflower seeds are delicious and they're really nutritious and they're great in salads and things like that. So you may eat them. The squirrels love them. Hi Jensen and Elliot. Um, we're going to plant them. And one of the reasons I've chosen sunflowers is every year, Mrs. Hutchinson has a school competition. It's taken very seriously amongst the, the staff at school. So every year we have a competition. Who can grow the tallest sunflower? So every class has a packet of seeds and we all have a go. Hmm, now let me have a think. Who won it last year? Hmm. Must have been somebody with green fingers who tried really hard. Hmm. Oh, that's right. It was me. And that's right. So if you, your class want to be our class, because this year I'm in rabbits, get planting with some sunflowers. OK, or sending lots of love to your sunflowers that are growing in the hall so that they grow big, tall and strong. And we'll be putting them onto the allotments when you come back to school very, very soon. So let's get on with our planting. Stop talking, Mrs. Thomas, as usual. Let's just say a few hellos here. Hi, Kira. Hi, Cece. Hi, Arthur from Badger's class. Hi, Will. Miss you too. Hi, Nina and Badis. Can I just say a big shout out to um, Kat, Nina and Badis's mum. She's doing a passionately down workout um, every morning at 9am. It looks very, very um, high energy. And I have to say, I watch it. I don't join in. I'm too busy sending emails. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, Charlie, you've got two springers as well. Are they as mad as Looney the lunatic? Oh, she fits into our house perfectly. Right. So we're going to get on with our planting. Now, last year, my sunflowers, when they first grew, were a little bit. They shot up really well. And I was like, Ooh, really great. And then they shot up and they just went. Ew. And I had to tie um, lollipop sticks and tie them to that. So they grew straight and tall. 
And Mrs. Hutchinson said, you need a taller pot and you need to plant them deeper. So this is my special plot to pot for sunflowers. You might not need this for all your seeds, but for sunflowers, this is what I'm using. So Mrs. Hutchinson, thanks for the top tip. We are off. Right. So, oh, we didn't answer the alive and dead, did we? So let's see. Do you think it's alive or dead, these seeds? Now, they look dead. They don't look like they're doing anything. But if they were dead, could they grow? Hmm? Could they grow? Very big shout out, sorry, to Natty, my niece, who's just joined in. Hi, Natty. She's in Sheffield. We should be going to see her in holiday, but we can't. So hello and thank you for joining in. So no, they wouldn't grow. If they were dead, they wouldn't grow. So they are alive, but they're not doing a lot, are they? And that's because they're sleeping. They are <laughs> sleeping, fast asleep. And they like to sleep somewhere dark and they like to sleep somewhere warm. And that's why we put them in compost. Because I bet when you go to bed, you like to snuggle up warm inside your duvet, snuggle up, wrap it around you, so you're all warm and snug and cozy and having hugs. And the seeds are just the same. So we're going to pop this seed into its little duvet, which is the compost, to keep it warm, to keep it safe, and to keep it nice and comfy. So to do that, because I need to get in really, really deep, and I'm just going to move you down, okay? We need to make a hole in the compost. And for that, I've got a pen because I'm going to put a hole in. Okay, now my class, hopefully you remember doing this with me last week. So I've made a nice deep hole there because Mrs. Hutchinson says the deeper you dig them, the deeper you um, plant them, the better they are then you're going to get your seed, okay? You're going to get your seed. Now, is this going to be the magic winning seed? Yes? No? Who knows? Is yours the winning magic seed? Okay, whatever you're planting, your plants need lots of love. So we're going to whisper them a little message of love. And I'm going to say, grow big, don't grow tall. Be beautiful. And then I'm going to drop my seed that in right down deep inside you probably can't even see that because it's gone so deep and it's in there ready to go to bed we say night night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite and then we cover it up okay so he's dark and ready and that's it your seed is fast asleep inside the little bed that you have just made for it. But we want to wake them up, don't we? We want them to grow. So we will use water and that helps us. Now, they don't like going swimming, seeds. I've tried that. It doesn't work. Watering them too much, mm -mm. okay? They just drown. So little bit of spray, little bit of water, Just on top, just lightly. And that's it. Now I'm going to leave mine on my kitchen windowsill. It's where all the sun comes in. And we're so lucky with this lovely sunshine at the moment. Pop him on the windowsill. And that seed in there is going to start it's fast asleep like this. And it's going to start to swell as it gets the water and start to swell. And then it will start to send out its shoots and it will start to send out its roots and it will start to grow. And eventually you will start to see that little shoot coming up as long as you spray it with a little bit of water regularly or you can put some cling film over the top to make a mini uh, greenhouse and look after it. So that's our seeds. Let's just have a couple of shout outs before I move on. So hi. Oh, lovely. I'd like to see people wishing India a happy birthday. Freddie Ridgway. Hi, Fred Star. Um, we've got Ellis from Moles. Hi, Ellis. Ah, Daisy and Zach. Hi. They're both ex Pashley pupils. Great to see you on here. Hi, Albert from Robbins. Uh, let's have a look. Who else have we got on here? 
Maya. Hi, Maya from Rabbit's Class. And she's just letting me know she's got a German Shepherd puppy. And I did see him the other day when I was driving along. He's getting a little bit big now. Um, hi, Tamsin in Owls. Monty G's wishing India a happy birthday. That's great to see. Oh, Fredster's sister saying hello. Hi, Albert in Hedgehogs. I've been watching your photos on Tapestry and on Facebook. Evan and Summer, hi. Fantastic. I'm glad you were joining in with the claps. Fantastic. Brilliant. Wills and Ginny, fantastic. Joshua from Owls. Let's see, hi, Nell, Nell from um, Rabbits, uh, no, Hedgehog's class. One of these days I'll get the classes right. Daisy and Badgers, hello. Harry and Olivia, Harry, I saw you out with your mum running this morning. Uh, let's have a look. Keep coming, keep them coming. Harrison and Jupiter, hiya. Bryn in Rabbit in Badgers class, hello. Sophia and Caitlin, yay, another ex Pashley. Brilliant. Peter in Badgers, keep it coming. So I know some of you are probably at home going, oh, that's all well and good, Mrs. Thomas, but we planted our seeds or we didn't get any seeds and we can't get them now. So how are we going to do some growing? Well, I, do you know what? You don't need seeds to grow plants. <gasps> I know. Shock horror. We teach you all the time. We grow plants from seeds. But no, you don't need to have seeds to grow plants. And I'm going to show you a few ways of growing some plants now that means you don't need seeds. Now, our fridges are getting a little bit empty. So I have saved some lettuce. Now I'm going to grow a lettuce from a lettuce. How on earth am I going to do that? Well, it's like magic. You don't need to plant seeds. You can use what you've already got. So I'm just going to move you down and I'm going to cut the bottom. Now, mums and dads will have to do this because we don't want you using scissors, scissors or knives even. I'm going to cut the base off like that. Now, this bit you can still eat. It's healthy. It's good. And we need to be eating lots of healthy food to keep us um, healthy and strong. But this bit, this is the bit we normally throw away. This bit we can use and all you need to do is pop it on a plate, this side up, get some water, pour the water on the plate, okay, and put it somewhere on the windowsill, not too warm and sunny, but nice and warm and eventually out of here you'll start to see new leaves forming and you'll start to see roots coming out of here. And that way, when you see the roots and when you see the shoots, you can plant it into the compost and you can start to grow your own lettuce. So that's one idea. You can do exactly the same with celery. Once again, not with this bit here. This is the bit we, we're going to eat. This is delicious with the bit we usually throw away okay this mm, yum yum have that in my salad later with my sunflower seeds and my lettuce this bit goes down on the plate you'll start to see shoots coming out of here in a couple of days a little bit of water put it somewhere warm and hopefully we'll have um roots and shoots so i'm going to keep them somewhere warm and I will keep you updated on Facebook. But that's not all. Because, as some of you know, when you are eating fruit and vegetables, you can find seeds inside. So you can grow those seeds. Today, I've got a pepper. So I'm going to have a go at growing peppers. I'm going to cut my pepper open. Save that to go on my salad. And inside, we have some seeds. Fantastic. Can you see them? They're teeny, teeny, tiny. 
that from those seeds we will grow plants so oh look mrs hutchinson's going to be so proud of me i've recycled a milk bottle container i'm going to push down and all i'm going to do is sprinkle these on top like so you might want to be a bit more careful and then just cover them in a bit of compost little spray of water and they're ready to go and i've just realized i feel like i'm, a blue, I'm on blue peter did you know when i was a little girl that was that was my aim in life i feel like i have achieved let's just go a couple more shout outs let's have a look Josh in Owl's class says hello. Olivia, hi Olivia Schultz. And your brother Harry. Hi Alfie and Rabbit's class. Mrs. Woodgate, yay! Um, Mrs. Messer would like to say a very big thank you to all the Pashley staff. I think they all deserve a massive high five. They're being absolutely fantastic. Hi Matilda, lovely to see all your fantastic rainbows. They're keeping me smiling as I'm going for my walks. Oh, Rufus from Rabbits, he knows the seeds are alive. Fantastic. I'm glad he was listening last week. Now, one last plant you can do is, I, I didn't know this either, so I've learned something this week. Any herbs you can grow again. So I have got a pot of basil on my windowsill. I like to keep a pot of basil because it is... Um, smells so lovely and it goes in all my dishes and I'm going to have it for dinner tonight. Um, if you get some basil and you just pull off, okay, you can do this with basil, mint, sage, rosemary, any of the herbs, just pull off the top leaves so that you have a nice long stalk like that. One bottle of water, reuse, 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 drop it in and just leave it. And in a couple of days, down on the stem, you will start to have roots growing. And once the roots have started to really grow, you can plant it in a plant pot and then it will grow into a great big bush of basil. So fantastic, another way of growing plants, keeping you busy, letting you learn about planting, but also giving you some nice, yummy, healthy food to eat as well. So Summer, good to see you're concentrating. Lexi, hi Lexi. Oh, Elijah's just told me off, it's not compost. Just been informed, it's not compost I'm using, it's worm poo. Could very well be. Never mind. Okay, Mr. Hennessy, hi. Hello, welcome back to Pashley in a different way. So, that's some planting. Whole school challenge um, for everybody today is to find some leftover um, food or plant some seeds. Now, I've researched this. You can do it with onions, you can do it with um, spring onions, you can do it with tomatoes, you can do it so many different ways. So if you're not sure, go online, Google planting veg without seeds and see what you can find, what's in your cupboard, what needs to be planted. Let's have a few more shout outs. Hi, Ava. Good to see you. Been seeing your photos on Facebook. Hi, Olaf. Hi, Harrison and Jupiter. Who else have we got coming up? Let's have a look. Right. Now, when I was doing this and I was thinking about it yesterday, I suddenly remembered that I had a really great book to go with planting. So I dug it out. Um, would you like me to share it with you? Hmm. If I can see lots and lots and lots of likes, can I see lots and lots and lots of likes? Hit that like button, hit those hearts, hit those thumbs up, give them a tap. I can see them, I can see them. It's working, well done guys. So I shall read to you The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. It is autumn. Is it autumn now? Let me 
never think. Sun shining, blue skies, a uh, bit windy, uh, lambs are being born, spring flower. Oh, spring flowers are coming up. No. So this book starts in a different season. It is autumn and a strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny. It's smaller than the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And what and where are they all going? Let's count. One, two, four, six, eight, ten seeds. That's the whole amount. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it. But the tiny little seed sails on with the others. So we had 10 seeds, one has gone. How many have we got now? Well done, nine, nine seeds left. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. So we had 10 seeds. We've now lost two. We've got how many left? Eight. Fantastic. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind. But the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. There's the tiny seed there. Oh, so we had 10 seeds. We've lost three. We've lost three seeds. How many are still in the... That's right. Well done. Seven. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low. But the wind pushes it on with the others. How many left have we got? Ten. Take away four is six. Well done. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds gently fall down onto the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. We had 10 seeds, five have gone. Oh, you're too quick with five and five. Well done, fantastic. Now it is winter time. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. So we started off with 10 seeds. Six have now gone. Well done. Four are left. Wow, now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring, just like now, and we're all happy because the sun is shining. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, and the seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open a little. Now they're not seeds anymore. These are plants. And first, they send roots down into the earth, just like your seeds are doing now. And then, their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and the air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed plant and it takes all of the sunlight 
and the rain away from one of the small new plants. And that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't even begun to grow yet. It will soon be too late. Hooray! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. Only three left now. Seven seeds have gone. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. Yay! Let's get outside in the sunshine. They too have been waiting for the sun and the springtime and the teachers. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and <gasps> he breaks one. And now it cannot grow anymore. Oh dear. So we had 10 seeds. We've only got two plants left. Eight have gone. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. And before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, and then a shadow looms over them, and then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. And this is why we should never pick flowers that are growing. A boy has picked the flower to give it to his friend. So he had nine. Which seed is left? It is summer. And now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on and it doesn't stop. And the sun shines on it and the rain waters it and it has many leaves. I'm hoping this is going to be my sunflower. It grows taller and taller and it is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it and people come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. A bit like Jack and the Beanstalks one, this one. Perhaps you could climb up and find the ogre at the top. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. But now it is autumn again and the days grow shorter and the nights grow cooler and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop down from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. Oh dear. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all its petals. It sways and it bends away from the wind, but the wind goes stronger and shakes the flower. And once more, the wind shakes the flower. And this time the flower's seeds pop, pod, pops open. And out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. I wonder what will happen to those seeds now? Will they go on a mini adventure? Who knows? But we'll soon know what happens to our seeds because we're going to plant them. So planting your seeds. I'm going to post um, a photo in a minute of the ones I've planted. And what you can do is pop those onto Facebook once I put a post on and pop all your pictures on. Your pictures have been keeping all the staff happy watching your lovely faces. So thank you very much. You have all been positive pandas on Facebook um, with all your posts making us all happy. So we think you're fantastic. I'd just like to let you know, Mrs. Godding is going to be on Facebook. Oh, 
Mrs. Godding is going to be on Facebook, so put it in your diaries. She will be on Tuesday. Tuesday at two o'clock, she's going to read a story. So make sure you're around for that. And then our fantastic Mr. Davies is going to be doing the whole school challenge next Thursday at 11 a.m. He's doing a whole school challenge. It does involve food. He's baking something delicious. Mmm, might be pizza. So my warning to you, if you've got food at home, pepperoni, cheese, things like that, and you want to save it for Mr. Davis' is, um, Facebook Live, keep those in your fridge. Don't eat them. I know they're delicious, but save them for next Thursday and you can make pizza with Mr. Davies live next Thursday. So I just want to say a big hello to all your Pashley children. Let's see if we got here. Freddie and Stanley, hi, big hello to you. Emmy, Emmy, happy, uh, not happy birthday, hello to you. Uh, Olivia C, hi Olivia C. Uh, we've got Ada, Ada in Fox's class. Hi, Ada. Michael from Moles. Hi, Michael. Uh, we've got Harry Gould, ex Pashley. Yes, fantastic. Glad you're all joining in, the ex Pashleys as well. Mila in Squirrels is watching. So I just want to say a very big hello to you all. You are keeping us all going. We are missing you, but we are loving your photos. Um, a big hello to all the Pashley staff because we're all missing each other. Um, we're sending lots of emails, but a big hello to all the ones that I've not said hello to. Um, now, not everybody got to meet Luna, did they? Because you weren't all in. We were a bit late. We had a few technical issues. Would you like? Luna to come out again. Hit those like buttons, hit those like buttons, hit those hearts. Can I see them? Let's all. Oh. She's fast asleep in the sunshine. She's fast asleep. That doesn't happen very often, but let's see if we can get her out while we're getting her out. She's in her cage at the moment. That's her safe place where she likes to be. Let's have a few more hellos. Let's have Awin. Hi, Awin. Hello, and Isla. I see you've been doing your Facebook challenges as well. Fantastic. Uh, India. Hi, India. I hope you're really enjoying today. Bet you're having lots of fun. And who else have we got? And Olivia and Florence. Hi. And mum at home. Hi to all of you. Let's see what you'll be planting later. Right. Let's see. Where is Luna the lunatic? Let's see if she, hopefully, she won't eat all of the plot. Oh, there she is. Hey, Looney Tunes, look, who wants to say hello to you? There they are, that's all those children. Yes, you like them at Pashley, do you remember? All the earliest children, they've all said hello to Luna. So she's a bit of a crazy one. She is just like Eric, she's got crazy ears. She should have had a trim up, but unfortunately she's not now, so she'll be like a great big teddy bear. She's trying to eat all your seeds. So we're going to say a very big hello and a very quick goodbye. Take care. Keep tuning in. Keep sending us your emails. We think you're amazing. Mums and dads, you are doing a brilliant job. We think you're absolutely fantastic. Well done. Take care. And bye-bye from me and bye-bye from Looney Tunes. Bye. Good girl, baby. That is really slow. And I didn't see any of the hearts or anything like that. So I don't, did that come out? I don't know. <laughs> right, now what do I do? Oh.